Hello everyone! Welcome back to our online classroom. Today, I will discuss to you all about real number system and properties for addition and multiplication. Now, let us start with the real number system. What is real numbers? Real numbers are simply the combination of rational and irrational numbers in the number system. For rational numbers, we have integers and fractions. Under with the integers, we have whole numbers and negative. For whole numbers, we have natural numbers and zero. So I will start discussing about real numbers. So as I have said earlier that real numbers are simply the combination of rational and irrational numbers. So what is rational numbers? Rational number is a number that is expressed as the ratio of two integers where the denominator should not be equal to zero, whereas an irrational number cannot be expressed in the form of fractions. A rational number or numbers are terminating and repeating decimals, but irrational numbers are non-terminating and non-repeating. Example of irrational numbers are square root of 2, square root of 3, square root of 5, pi. Ang square root of 2 equivalent into decimal is 1.41, So, non-terminating siya ay non-repeating siya. Unlike with the rational numbers na terminating and repeating, for example, 1.22222, ganyan. So, that is rational number kasi repeating and pwede ding terminating, example, 3 fourths. Kung itatransfer natin siya into decimal, that is equivalent to 0.75. Yan yung mga rational numbers. Now, ang rational numbers, sinati siya sa dalawa, which is integers and fractions. Ang integers from 0 to positive numbers and 0 to negative numbers. Ang fraction, you can identify na yan, 1 half, 3 fourth, or 5 thirds. Yan yung mga fractions. For integers, inahati yan siya sa dalawa. The whole numbers or pwedeng positive numbers and negative numbers. Negative numbers, yung mga may negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. Whole numbers, magsastart siya sa 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, so on and so forth. For, sa ilalim niya naman, is what we call the natural numbers. Ang natural numbers, magsastart sa 1, hindi sa 0. Ang 0, nakaklasify siya as 0 din. So, that is the number system. Now, let's proceed with the properties for addition and multiplication. I will start first with the closure property. So, let A and B and C is an element of real numbers. So, yung R na yan, it, that is represent as real numbers. So, the sum, of the sum and product of two real numbers is a real number. For example, closure property for addition, A plus B is an element of real number. 5 plus 4 is equal to 9. So, 9 is an element of real number. So, closure property for multiplication, uh, A times B is an element of real numbers. 5 times 4, example, equals 20. So, 20 is an element of real numbers. Number 2 is the commutative property. Let x, y, and z is an element of real numbers. For commutative property for addition, the order of addends in addition expression does not matter. For example, x plus y is equal to y plus x. So, in numbers, 3 plus 4 is equal to 4 plus 3. So, kahit magkabaliktad yung mga numbers, as long as addition ang ginamit na operation, magiging magkapareha pa rin yung sagot nila. For commutative property for multiplication, the order of factors in a multiplication expression does not matter. Kung ganun pa rin din ang ideya niya. 3 times 4 equals 4 times 3. The same pa rin yung sagot. Next, let's proceed with number 3, associative property. For associative property for addition, in an, ad in an addition expression, it does not matter how the addends are grouped. Kahit nakagroup yan siya, as long as ang ginamit doon na operation plus lang, they will come up with the same 
answer. For example, 2 plus 3 plus 4, inuna muna na i-add si 2 plus 3 bago si 4, or pwede din iuna na i-add si 3 tsaka si 4 at i-add sa 2, ganun pa rin yung sagot. For associative property for multiplication, ganun pa rin ang idea as long as multiplication lang ang ginamit doon, kahit sino lang yung mauna na i-multiply sa kanila or i-grupa sila, ganun pa rin yung magiging sagot. That is for associative property. Next, for number 4 is identity property. For identity property for addition, there exists a unique number 0 such that a plus 0 is equal to a. The number 0 is called the identity element for addition. For kahit anong i-add mo doon sa 0, yun pa rin yung sagot niya. So, ang 0 is what we call the identity element for addition. Next is identity property for multiplication. There exists a unique number 1 such that a times 1 is equal to a. The number 1 is called the identity element for multiplication. Kung identity property for multiplication, kahit inong i-multiply mo sa 1, ganun pa rin yung sagot niya. So, ang 1, ang tawag na din toon is identity identity element for multiplication. Next, for number 5 is inverse property. 1 is inverse property for addition. For every real number a, there exists another real number negative a, such that a plus negative a is equal to 0. The number negative a is also called the additive inverse or the opposite of a. So example, 5 plus negative 5 that is equal to 0. So, yung negative 5 is also called the additive inverse or the opposite of 5. For inverse property for multiplication naman, for every real number a except 0, there exists another real number 1 over a, the reciprocal of a. Ano ibig sabihin ng reciprocal? Kabalik tarad. Such that a times 1 over a is equal to 1. The number 1 over a is called the uh, is called multiplicative inverse of a. So, for example, what is the uh, reciprocal of 5? That is 1 over 5. Kasi sa 5, meron doong 1 sa ilalim niya. Understood yan. Kung fraction naman ang binigay, example, 2 thirds, ang reciprocal nun is 3 halves. Babalik ta rin mo lang siya. Next, we have distributive property. For distributive property is um, or distributive property of multiplication over addition, ito lang yung process. A quantity B plus C, multiply natin si A doon sa loob 1 by 1. A times B, AB. Plus, the operation ng ginamit, A times C, AC. So, that is distributive property. Now, let's have this activity. So, try to answer this one if stop nyo muna yung video para sagutan ito, then you will check your answer doon sa answer key natin mamaya to check lang if naintindihan nyo talaga yung lesson natin ngayon. So, state the property illustrated in each statement. Assume all variables represent real numbers. So, this will be the answer. Yan. Kailangan na kung ano talaga, property for multiplication or addition. Ayan. So, I hope marami kayong natutunan. Uh, God bless everyone.